Hi, I'm Lisa Hayden with Channel 6 Central Kentucky TV, Community Focus on Washington County. And we are delighted to have with us today Mr. Paul Newby of Springfield, Thank you. lifelong resident of Springfield since the age of eight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and a prominent citizen here and uh, always involved in our community. And with it being Black History Month, I think it's important that uh, uh, Mr. Newby be here to share with us, the listening audience, about his life and uh, growing up in Springfield and, um, and what he's up to today. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So welcome. And, and so Mr. Newby, I forgot that you uh, were born in Russell County. Mm -hmm. And this, of course, tells a little bit about you in our Men of Honor American, I mean, our African American Heritage Festival in 2019. And these, you're on the front page here mm -hmm. uh, as one of our Men of Honor. Thank you. And congratulations to you on that. Thank you. <laughs> And so tell me a little bit about your life. You started out in Russell County, and then you came here at eight years old with your family. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, my, my, my father had a 72-acre farm in Russell County, where we were born, uh, a place they called Crocus, a little place called Crocus, Crocus down there. Uh -huh. And so uh, we come at, uh, here to be sure crop and get more get the back and better ground to uh, raise the family up. And uh, all he moved over here. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, well, it is, he was a sharecropper. You know what a for, sharecropper? Uh, sh uh, well, tell those out there that uh, don't know. A sharecropper for, uh, on a farm that he, he'd raised to, to back her and corn for so much part of it, you know. Yeah. Yes, uh-huh. And uh, he uh, he paid uh, uh, or 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 how did he get? Did the owner of the farm get so much uh, of the proceeds from the uh, crops that he sold, or did you pay him rent? How did that work exactly? No, we didn't have to pay him any rent. Yeah, you um, lived in a house, house uh -huh. on the farm. On the farm. Uh -huh. Okay. And uh, uh, like we uh, we milked the cows, okay, and fed the hogs or whatever you know, all that. That belonged to the farm, farm owner. Farm owner. Mm -hmm. And then you got so much so, for mm -hmm. income for doing that. For doing that, uh huh. Uh -huh okay. Uh huh. And so you grew up farming. Oh yeah, grew up farming. And how many brothers and sisters? Oh, uh, <coughs> seven brothers and four sisters. Wow. Yeah. Uh -huh. Your parents were who? Sam. Sam Newby. Uh huh. And my, my, my mother was named Pearl Newby. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. And where do you fit in that? That's how many kids? Twelve? Uh huh. You said eight and four? Uh huh. Eight boys, four girls? Uh huh. I was a seventh. You were the seventh? Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. And um, I guess you all probably worked on the farm. Mm-hmm. Sure did, yeah. Now tell me about that. Uh, we, we, like I say, we worked on the farm there and uh, didn't get much pay. I think, oh, we had work for, well, I started, let you me know, start off when I, when I was down there in the place where Crocus. Wherever you'd like. Down there, down there for the Moody Springfield. Okay. I was starting off at, I started for 50 cents a day. 50 cents a day. That's all I made. <laughs> sure. And that, and that guy, that uh, he didn't pay that 50 cents to me, he gave it to my daddy. Oh. <laughs> so I was proud of it. Didn't, I didn't ask her daddy for my money, all that stuff, you know, I said, okay, I was eating. 
<laughs> you, so in other words, you were paying for your keep. Oh yeah. For your, your daddy yeah. feeding you. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's a, that's a, something that uh, uh, young people don't really know today. What's uh, what it's all about, you know? Yeah. What their parents had to do for them back in days and mm -hmm. raised up. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They don't. They don't seem to. Uh, realize uh, how hard their parents are working for them to provide them a place to live and a mm -hmm. roof over their head and food to eat mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, clothes to wear. That's right. So you gave your money to your father. Yeah, my mother, my mother to my father. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. He was. He was. Yeah, I didn't see none of it. <laughs> and, yeah. and 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 then. Uh, uh, you came to uh, Springfield, Springfield, and where did you, you lived on a farm here. Yeah, the Mac Mercury Estate on Lebanon Road that there, where them houses go back in that lane. Oh, A okay. guy named Mac Mercury. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. We went, went back and worked, like I say, you know, raised a back and mm -hmm. different things, and worked for him, corn and everything. Now, were you going to school? Well, yeah, I, um, it was a funny thing about that. Uh, they had a, we had my kids, we, they had a, didn't have them school here. Well, we, I do a bus from uh, Lebanon Road to Rosenwald High School over there, where was, children were. Okay. Yeah, uh huh. Uh, old bus would take the high school kids to Lebanon over there from here. There wasn't, wasn't no school here for. Relaxer. That was uh, that was during segregation, during, uh -huh. and so that. you went to an all-black school. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Rosenwald uh, was in Lebanon, and mm -hmm. that is that uh, building still there? I think it is. Yeah, Rosenwald Village uh, there. Uh -huh. Okay. It's uh, something like a nursing home or something. Yeah, there, I think. Yeah. Okay, so that was the school. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. I didn't realize that. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, now that was, was that for grade school and high school? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> okay. So were you in a room with just like uh, kids from the third grade or fourth grade? Or, yeah, or did you have s s classes together? We had, we had uh, uh, different classes, you know, in uh -huh. school. We had each different teachers. For each grade? Grade, each grade, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And you were riding that bus with all your uh, brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, what ages did they range? Like, who the oldest to the youngest? I I don't remember now. I see you. Right. You had seven brothers. You were the seventh mm -hmm. of the boys. Mm -hmm. And four sisters. And yeah. the four sisters. Uh -huh. So you had several. Were some of the sisters older than you? Yes. Uh huh. Had uh, one, two, three of them. Uh -huh. Older than uh -huh. you. Uh -huh. So they prob are are any of them uh, alive no, now? No. No. None of them no, alive. I'm, I'm the only you're one. You're the only one. one. Mm -hmm. And uh -huh. you're how old? <coughs> well, I'm I'm ninety. 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 Yeah, March first. I'll be ninety-one if I make it. That's war. Yeah. Oh, I don't think you're having a problem making it. <laughs> no. Now, how was it growing up with all those siblings? So here you were riding the bus to school. So you probably had chores to do in the morning before you left for school. That's right. Had to milk the cows. Milk the or cows, uh-huh. And uh, well, we fed the horses and everything. We lived in a little house back there, a big, something, what you call a tented house. And... and uh. We what we do? We go there and milk the cows and feed the horses. Or what we need to do? Or do uh, before we eat breakfast. Uh, okay. I could. I could. We could. There's an old house over there. You know, there wasn't a whole lot of insulation. You could smell that mom uh, bacon or ham or what she was cooking them uh, all the way from uh, two half a mile to over there to the barn. <laughs> Smelled good, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you had a long way to walk to mm -hmm. the barn and then back to the house uh -huh. and eat your breakfast. Uh -huh. Did you have far to walk to get on the school bus? Yes. No, well, yeah. Did they come back that lane? No, no, they didn't come back that lane. We had to uh, walk up there. 
uh, what a Mac Murphy Farm all the yeah, way. Yeah, all there. that's b yeah. good distance. That's mm -hmm. probably oh yeah a mile. Yeah, a mile. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you're little like that, mm -hmm. it's probably pretty cold and some, on some I, days. Some days it was cold and rainy days too, but then we walk went up there. Yeah. Yeah. You know you think, you know you hear. Our parents and things say, well, we walked a mile to school in the mm. cold, and, mm. and you know, they act like, um, which, of course, it was hard, mm -hmm. but, and, you know, and now kids, they don't walk any distance to school. No, that's right, too. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody takes them, takes or them the school bus and pulls uh -huh, up uh -huh. pretty close. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, uh, they don't know how hard times could be, Please. do they? No, no. And then, uh, so you would, uh, and your mom would fix your breakfast, and then off to school, you'd walk down that lane to school. Uh -huh. How was it getting along with all those brothers and sisters? Everything, we got along good. We just, we had a little, so. Well, you know, they, uh, we, my mother and father was pretty strict on us there, you know. If you tell you something to do, you better do it. We had a, we had to go down to a, a place there where water was running all the time, uh, uh, to a cave like thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had had to pack spring water through the house for, for we had, didn't have no pump like we used to have them pumps. They finally got a pump to pump the water out of the ground. And uh, I remember all that too, you know, back to the days. And, You'd yeah. have to take buckets and get in and get that water. Water and bring it up there, yeah. But my mother to cook with and different things, you know. Wow. Yeah. yeah. That's hard. Yeah. And 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 in bathtubs, I mean, well, you didn't have any running water in the house. No, didn't have no water in the house. And had an outhouse, probably. An outhouse, like everybody right. did in yeah, the yeah. country. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. we had that old tub and get in our bathtub. You get in the big old tub round tub. <laughs> 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 and, and everybody would use the same water, water. <laughs> <laughs> and have to heat up the uh, water on the stove yeah. uh, because, you know, you didn't have any hot water. No. I Imagine it get pretty, well, I guess we, your mom, we, would she add a little hot water to it? No, well, well, Leah, we, you know, she had a, a cook stove thing with a hot water tank on it. Okay. It would heat up that water sometimes, yeah. Yeah. You ever see one of them? With the, no. with the, on the cook stove, the, the... It was on the side of the cook stove where you had your, you didn't burn nothing but wood. Uh-huh. And so, uh, it was, a, it was a tank about like that on the side. Side it, of the cook stove. Uh -huh. Water, water, warm up water and things, you know. No, I never yeah, have seen one of those. Uh-huh. Uh, that's huh, interesting. <laughs> well, I'll have mm -hmm. to... You know, I, I, I like to go to antique shops and mm -hmm. things like that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I've got an old uh, washer, t two, you mm -hmm. know, tubs, mm -hmm. one for washing and one for rinsing, and, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. some things like that. And But I've never seen one of those. I used mean, to have, uh, once you washed your clothes there, and they had an old wrangler set on the side there, put them clothes on and wrang them out, and, and had to hang them up. On a clothesline to dry. Right, <laughs> right. Yeah. And I'd say probably some of you kids had to get the clothes off the off the line. And yeah, my sisters and them, they done that. They job. did the yeah. girl work. The girl work. I know yeah. how that girl work is. Yeah, that girl work was something else. Yeah. Yeah. I, they didn't have to go out then and milk the cows no. or do any of that. Mm -mm. They did all the domestic work. Work in the house. Yeah, do right. the work in the house. Uh -huh. Doing the wash right. and the cooking and the... Dishwashing, uh, dishwashing mm -hmm. and cleaning the house. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sewing. Mm -hmm. So they learned all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We just, we used to early in the spring we'd uh, we we had some vines on the ground they call them dewberries. We picked them dewberries over there and and uh, mom would make this j jam and stuff out of them dewberries you know. They were the vine running on the ground. Huh. Come early in the spring and stuff like that. And, yeah. Dewberries. Dewberries. You ever hear of them, had you? No, <laughs> I have not. I never, I, uh -huh. 
Uh, now, blackberries, I've picked blackberries. Oh, oh yes. Uh -huh. And I love blackberry jam. Jam, yeah. I guess she, your mom probably made she, that. She made a lot of jam. Uh -huh. We had a, she had a, a something like a cellar under the ground with a doorway in front of it. Yeah. You go and step down in that cellar, and she had all the canned goods in that cellar. It was uh -huh. on them shelves and things. It, it, everything kept good and warm. And all. She had a big, big old drawer like that and uh, had kraut in it. What do you call kraut? You hear kraut? Oh, yeah. Yeah, cap it up and... Can't, yeah. yeah, and because uh, you have to let that kind of ferment or mm -hmm. something, that think, cabbage, you know, cabbage, chopped it up to make kraut, uh -huh. and then canned it. Uh -huh. yeah. Put it in a big jar, stone jar, big old round stone jar there, you know. Uh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so now, uh, that's how a lot of people lived on on farms in those yeah. days in uh -huh. Washington uh -huh. County. Uh -huh. I know my in-laws can, you know, talk about things like that. Uh -huh. And, um, uh, and you know, it was a, it was a pretty tough life. Tough life, yeah. I mean, just, you know, um, your day-to-day -day responsibility and, the, and, you know, not having a bathroom in the house no. or running water. And no. I sure like today's conveniences Oh, yeah. I'm glad yeah. I didn't grow up in that time, Mr. Nimmy. Well, <laughs> then you know something about the, some experience of what the life was about that yeah. day. Yeah, it's important it's, to know uh, that, it's yeah. It's important to know that because uh, uh, my, my, my daddy used to take and uh, dig a hole in the ground and put the potatoes or everything down in there and put some straw over top of it. Then uh, when you get ready in the wintertime, he'd dig down in there and get something what you wanted out there. And get those potatoes yeah. out, yeah. Well, the ground kept it. Right. The ground kept it. Mm -hmm. Kept it cold and mm -hmm. kept it, uh, yeah, kept yeah, potatoes for, nice and firm. Everything, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. And yeah. Yeah, I'm sure you all raised the big garden. Sure did. My mother raised everything in that garden. Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure did. Had some good I, home cooking, though, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> I imagine you had a <laughs> half acre garden, you know, more than that maybe, I don't know, big old garden. Oh. Yeah, yeah, all kind of beans and peas and that, everything else, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you have some, even though life was tough, you have a lot of good memories. That's right. Of those days. Uh -huh. I'm so glad know. that I do have, so that I can tell someone else about what I went through and what I come up on, how we done everything, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I would say uh, probably uh, that helps you understand the meaning of hard work. That's right. Uh -huh, uh -huh, and uh -huh. so you're not afraid of hard no, work. No. And you've proven that because uh, of, ap you know, so go ahead with that. You went ahead and you graduated. You did grad. All of you all got educated and got a high school degree? No, no, I didn't get no high school degree. Eighth, eighth grade about first I went there, you know. Okay. Uh-huh. Because uh, after that... that, that the, reason, the reason why I was that was my father passed away and we was on this farm, you know, and uh, we had to take care of our mother and you know, I didn't have no big education, but thank the Lord I got knowledge today yeah. of, of knowing knowing what I went through. Right. Yeah. A lot of practical skills mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So you had to quit school because you had to take care of your mother mm -hmm. and your sister, uh, younger your sister. sisters and brothers. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. And so that kept you on the farm full time at uh, that point. That's right. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Now, how was it growing up with segregation? Uh, well, I went through that. Uh, segregation uh, went bad, mm -hmm. you know, and different things right here in Springfield and whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. We, uh, well, we, we, well, well, I'm a member. You remember the picture show over here? Majestic. Uh -huh. I Majestic. Used to, yeah, I run, I run that show. Yeah, you told me that. Yeah. 
uh, guy, guy named uh, Clifford Bagley showed me that. And that's a, that, I mean, I was the first black ever run something like that up in that, those uh, picture shows and things where Mr. R.H. Robson. Well, that was um, uh, Nell's uh, grandfather. Uh huh, uh huh. And then uh, mm -hmm. Nell Hayden's Bubba. grandfather, and then her father, Bubba Robertson, Bubba, Bubba, ran it. Ran it yeah. Were you there then yeah, when yeah, Bubba, Bubba was? Run it, yeah. You were there with Bubba? Yeah. yeah. And so. That, that, that's something that it, it was an experience for me, you know, uh, you know, as being black. You know, sometimes uh -huh. you don't get them kind of jobs. Uh -huh. Right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. How old were you then when you had that job? Mm. I, was, I don't know what, 18 or 19, I'm, I'm like, yeah. or Late teens or early 20s, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, well, something like that. He's on there. <laughs> and said you were um, living on High Street then. Mm -hmm. Were you uh, married at that point, or you yes. left the farm? Mm -hmm. So tell me how that happened. I, I live, live on uh, High Street. Uh, I bought a house up there, and, and uh Still done the farming. They went to the farmer job too. Uh -huh. Oh, uh -huh. so you continued to farm uh -huh. the McMurtry. McMurtry. Uh huh. And a lady named Clifford Carl. You ever hear that out there on the? As you go out to Maxford Road there, the farmer and Doctor Carl. He was a doctor. Uh huh. We we went on that farm and uh, worked for him. Me and my brothers did. Uh -huh. All all the brothers we worked together most of the time. Okay. Uh -huh. Near the big old house right there on the right, going up that hill. On the Michael Road? Yeah. yeah. My mother lived there and thing. And your mother, she lived where? In that house there. Oh, she did? Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Was she helping them the, or what? Well, I think she worked for the doctor there, some, you know, house cleaning or whatever it was. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And cause, uh, well, like, she probably didn't do any public work then. No, no. Cause mm -hmm. a lot of women didn't. No, no. <laughs> they just cooked and whatever, clean houses. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then, so she stayed there, and you moved to uh, bought a house on High Street. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And were you there by yourself at that point, or? No, it was me and my wife, my first wife. Okay. Uh -huh. So mm -hmm. you were married at that point then. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you married, uh, how old were you when you married? I don't know at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, you had to be pretty young. Yeah. Well, of course, that's how, I mean, everybody married pretty young. Mm -hmm. 18, 19, 19, 20. Yeah, somewhere at that age. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, so you were there, and then you were, you were talking, um, with Clifford Bagley, and uh, what happened there? Oh, he the one that uh, taught me how to run the theater downtown. Well, you know, with the Jester Theater there. Uh huh. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. And w and you were the projectionist. Yeah, projectionist. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh huh. And then. Uh, how long? But you continued to farm while you were doing that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you Run that bit. was a job that uh, most, uh, like you said, that uh, probably um, you know maybe uh, black people didn't get Did, in those days. Didn't didn't have that job. No, that's right. You're right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So they must have thought a lot of you. Mm -hmm. I uh, they had to. Uh, I had a big, big old stairway to climb and fight killed objectives stuff up there to run the machine with, you know, had one over here and one over here at a time, run over there, switch them out and all that. And so uh, Black was setting up stairs and, you know, the, the white were downstairs in that theater. Um, <laughs> they were up in the balcony. The balcony. The, <laughs> the, uh huh. Mm -hmm. I remember mm -hmm. that being the case at the Arco Theater in Bardstown, mm -hmm. and I, you know, you know, as a young child, I didn't understand it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I, yeah. I didn't know why. Yeah. Yeah. And um, 
you know, I think that's unfortunate that, uh, you know, that we had that going on to begin with. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, did, did you have any understanding of it, you know, that... Well, sort of, maybe, in a way. Because uh -huh. you had... You had lived it, and mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. But then, of course, that changed mm -hmm. with the um, uh, Civil Rights Act, yeah, in 1963, which was a good thing. Yeah. How I, did you feel about that? Uh, that was a big change, you know, there because of, uh, I drove. Then I drove to be a truck driver. Drove truck thirty some years. So now you you got off of the farm. Would you would you decide there was you had enough of farming? Mm -hmm. I drove a armor packing company down here in town. Then I drove a a guy named Mike Ray, and uh, we drive uh, take whole wire into the south to the farmers and stuff like that, you know, and whatever. How'd that job come up? Uh. This a guy had a place down there on McRae Farm down here on on the, on, the, on the Bloomfield Road. Bloomfield Road, uh -huh. McRae's Farm, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I got that and you, job. And you were down there farming. No, I, no, I got oh. that job doing driving that. Doing that truck uh -huh, uh -huh. for the McRae's. Uh -huh. ah, okay. Uh -huh. They still uh, have trucks. No, I think they have someone else. Haul, haul for them now, but Mr. McRae mm -hmm. did that up until he died. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So you started trucking, uh, trucking for him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I run into a lot of different things down there. Like segregation was bad. You couldn't get nothing to eat sometimes, and I've had people that just wouldn't let me come in the front door. You know, to get a cup of coffee and all and you have to tell me you had to go around the back, go around the back. <laughs> one time, I done one time, one time uh, she, she said, go around the back, go around the back, go around the back, and then see on a big old uh, tin fence there, I didn't see no place. I went on up the road and got, got me a bag of nabs or whatever, you know, then I, after a while I learned what I had to do, take me some coffee or whatever with me, water too. I would refuse to get a drink of water out of some of the places down there. I've been through that. Said, uh, well, you'd have to ask you. They said they'd have, they'd have colored white and water fountains and everything. So you couldn't drink out of the white. I couldn't cut a guy out of, find one that was colored or something like that. Sometimes you would, sometimes you wouldn't. That's what that segregation was back there. Mm -hmm. I experienced that. I yeah. One. It's hard to believe, honestly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And um, so so you dealt with all that, and I guess you just learned to adjust. Mm -hmm. Like you say, take mm -hmm. your own water with you or your mm -hmm. own coffee. Mm -hmm. And uh, bathrooms, I'm sure, mm -hmm. were a problem. Yeah. Yeah. One time I was coming out of this place down there in one of them towns, and you know when you empty, you don't have to stop. On your truck, don't yeah, have to stop. Yeah, stop, you just pull on the scale and just keep going. Mm -hmm. I went on up the road, and the blue light come on me like this, blue, 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 say, turn that truck around and come back down to the scales. I want to talk to you. I said, okay, I uh, finally got that thing turned around, so when them lane went back down to the scale, and this guy in there, he's a, he's a one doing the scale win. He said, what are, what, what are you trying to do? Go through here and not stop me? I said, no. He said, no. But you never say no to me no more. Like that. So I'm going to take you up to jail. You're smart at it. I said, no to the world. Because I said no to him. You need to, I'm going to take so, you up to, to the jailhouse this morning, see what we can do with you. I'm thinking, what in the world is going on? <laughs> yeah. And, uh, so what happened then? Well, this guy that stopped me, you know, said, uh, uh, said, uh, hey, you got any ticket, 
tickets. The other one said, you got any tickets here to uh, show where you bought fuel down in the state? I said, I said, yes, sir, I have. I told him to show them to me. He said, I tell you what, I'll talk to him. You get in your truck going up the road. So. Yeah, it had to hurt me so bad. I, I, I cried. I had to cry. So. You, a grown man, I had to cry about it, man. I can understand. Yeah. I mean, here you, you know, uh, just somebody trying to exert their authority and mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've seen plenty of people like that in this world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and not I'm really, sorry you had to go through that, Mr. Not, Maybe. Not like it was back there, you know, doing that surrogation time. Well, yeah, yeah I mean, yeah, certainly yeah, different. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I, I pulled into a station one time down there. Uh, one time I think in Mississippi some more. And this guy, he looked over at me, I'm getting gas. He said, man, he said, fill up all that gas you can get in your truck. And he said, I'll see you, you out of, up north. I said, yeah. He said, don't stop for nobody along this road. If him try to try to stop it, just keep going. He said, uh, uh, three people got killed down here in uh, Philadelphia, Mississippi. I was close to Mississippi. That Philadelphia, uh, if some people out of Chicago went down there and tried to help with that mm -hmm. segregation thing, mm -hmm. they killed them all, you know. Mm -hmm. All three of the people, they was out of Chicago. Yeah. I know, I remember that, too. Um, so yeah. I'm, sh obviously, and with that m policeman trying to take you to jail, mm -hmm. I'm sure you were fearful for your life. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, that yeah, was scary. yeah. yeah. Sure was. Yeah, yeah. So, how long did you drive going down south to? Well, I drove. I think I would have wanted to look for another <laughs> occupation. <laughs> <laughs> no, I drove for a different company, a big company. And last, I drove for a place on Newburg Road called Smith and Company. And we had a, we had our own places to stay or whatever, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. We, so you we, didn't have to worry about finding no. somewhere to stay? No. Because I imagine that was a problem. It was. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So when you were traveling down south then, you, mm -hmm. you, you know, no did, you, did you just uh, sleep right. in your truck? Sleep in the truck. Yeah. Hmm. Mm hmm. So. A long time ago, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and and you were around when um, when all the protests were going on. Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. how was that? Was and we had a a group here that you know mm -hmm. started the uh, and I thought you were involved with that. And you told me uh, with the NAACP when they started. No, I didn't. You worry. were not involved. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, we had some prominent people from here, of course, that were involved in that, mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And in Kentucky, and of course, Georgia Davis, mm -hmm. Powers. Well, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, then, then you probably had children at that point. Mm-hmm, I had two children, yeah. Of course, your daughter, mm -hmm. who passed away, mm -hmm. her name was... Um, Margaret Elaine. Margaret Elaine. Mm -hmm. And then she had two children, grandchildren. One of them was named uh, Dexter and Paul Anthony. You remember them, don't you? I I you do. Remember see them coming? They come here. I think was. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, during our African American Heritage Festival. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now where are they? Uh, Paul Anthony. He's in the. Uh, he lives in Louisville there, and uh, Dexter lives in Hinesville, Georgia. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you probably don't get to see them too often then. Not too often, no. And then your other child, who's your other child? 
Do you have one? Do you have two? Do you have one deceased daughter? Mm -hmm. Margie Lane, yeah. Margie Lane, and mm -hmm. then who's the other? Beverly. Be Beverly, she's mm -hmm. deceased too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. I'm okay. Mm -hmm. Beverly, and Beverly had um, children. Did she have uh, any no, children? No. Okay. So, um, but you were raising them during that time. That's right. Mm -hmm. So now, tell me how things were in Washington County at that time. One thing is, uh, was okay, you know. It all depends on what you want to try to do, do for, do for yourself, or you know, help anybody else along mm -hmm. the way. I, I try to help somebody all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, into the church or whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, don't try to tell nobody the wrong thing. Try to help them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, probably when your children first started school, we still had segregation. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think how old they uh, so. So they were going, where did they start at going to school? Oh, what did I say, Lebanon? Yeah. And were they going to Lebanon mm -hmm. too? Mm -hmm. That's when you all were living on High Street, mm -hmm. so they uh, bused to Louisville, I mean to Lebanon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then how did you feel about when, when we, with the Civil, uh, Civil Rights Act? It did was, you think that it made a big difference? It made a big difference, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My younger daughter and God and Dad, they, they went to a little school up on High Street there. Uh, top of the hill there. Was a, oh, that's right. I forgot uh -huh. about the school up there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, I don't remember the name of it, though. Hmm. Uh, you remember what it was? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> and then I guess later they went to uh, Springfield Elementary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or what? Well, Springfield, or was it Washington County Elementary? Washington County. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and then and when you 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 retired from trucking, uh, you took another. You went to work after that, didn't you? I don't think you've ever really retired, have you? No, no, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you, and then you and uh, Catherine, uh, you all, you all been married thirty three years, thirty four years mm -hmm. then. Mm hmm. Okay. Mm hmm. And uh, and okay, you were you. You retired and you were awarded for driving over a million miles. All right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh, this uh, in a in a in a this Mac Mac Motor Company up in a, well, a Pennsylvania awarded me this big big plaque that safety driving over the year that many years. Uh -huh. They sent it to me. I got a big placket up to half. Oh yeah. wow! Well, congratulations yeah. on that. Yeah. And then after you retired, you still weren't you doing some contracting work or something like building or no, no. nothing like that. No. I was thinking that you did something like that after you retired. No. What have you been doing since you retired from trucking? Oh, uh, most of the thing what I want to do mostly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How yeah. long have you been retired? Hmm, thirty some years, I guess. So. Is that right? Yeah. Well, you're always involved in something. Every time mm -hmm. I see you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I know you help with the African. You've been on the African American Planning Committee for years. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, and you attend church at the um, West Valley Church, Springfield. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you 
help there, I think, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. So, um, and of course, you you um, uh, you used to get up and dance at the all the uh, at the African American Heritage Festival at the dance on Friday night. Are you doing any dancing no, these I days? No, I ain't doing no dance. I ain't. <laughs> I can't dance no way. <laughs> Never good dance. I thought you and Catherine got no, up and danced. No, dance. no. <laughs> no. Uh -uh. So, um, but you, you uh, now just uh, you get it out and about though. I know. I oh, see yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Is there anything? Is there anything else that you'd like to say today for the listening audience before? No, I, I, I like to say that I had a ha happy life in Washington County, and everybody treated treated me good, you know, fine, everything. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, and you've yeah, done a I, lot I, for our... Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Like, you know, black, you know, the Black Afro-American Heritage Festival, I, I like to attend that, and mm -hmm. we went, went, went on with that, too, and everything, you know, right? Yep, it's a good thing. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Got that started, mm -hmm. honoring uh, Washington Countyans who mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. have um, uh, been in in our community and mm -hmm. have given to the community in some mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was a grand marshal. Remember that? Yes, indeed. A great grand marshal here one time. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah, that uh, was good. Yep. And uh, we've you. I'm just glad that we have Black History Month mm -hmm. and we celebrate mm -hmm. uh, a lot of our, I mean, our, our black history, history. and mm -hmm. our uh, citizens, our black citizens who have given to this, not only this city and this mm -hmm. uh, county, this state and mm -hmm. this nation, mm -hmm. whom haven't always been recognized like they should be. No. But we're doing a better job of that, I think, these days, mm -hmm. recognizing those individuals who have uh, given, uh, contributed so much to our nation. Nation, uh, you know, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I want to thank you for uh -oh. contributing to Springfield in Washington County, okay. Mr. Paul Newby. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And it, 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 in the Springfield Sun, it talked about your o overcoming racism with your hard work because mm -hmm. you've always be, been a hard worker mm -hmm. and you've given to others as as the good book says do unto others well, as you'd have them, them do, do unto, unto you. you that's right and that's been your philosophy well, that's right that's right yeah mm -hmm. so thank you very well, much love for everybody. being here thank you, you love everybody uh -huh. right